Hello there, this is Xiao, and welcome to another VoxFX PSA. Like I said before, these are a bit more informal, they're shorter, and they're just sort of an experiment for me. Anyway, today's topic, a lack of experience is not an excuse. Now, we're all newbies at some point with pretty much everything we do, and that's perfectly normal. Everyone has to start somewhere. No one is good at something they've never done before, obviously. Some people may have a knack for a given skill, like you might you might have sort of a proclivity, as I like to say, for, say, singing or art or what have you. But that only gets you so far. Talent can't really make up for skill. So you start out and you have a lack of experience. And like I said, this is normal. The problem is letting this lack of experience stop you from trying. Like you go, oh, I'm bad at doing something. Oh, I'm bad at it, so I'm not going to do it. I'm terrible at singing, so I'm not going to sing. I'm terrible at mixing, so I'm not going to mix. But that doesn't make any sense, because people learn through repetition. They learn through practice. They learn through doing the same thing over and over again. That's just how the human mind works. You get better at something by doing it. The more you do it, the better you get. So therefore, quitting is the worst thing you can do, because you'll never get good if you don't try. Now, you may be like, oh, well, I don't actually want to do that. You find out that this is something that you don't particularly care for, or it's not fun, or not interesting. Sorry, I ate a big dinner. And you're just all like, eh, I don't feel like taking, I don't feel like spending my time on that. But if it's something you care about, something that you're passionate about, then do it, even if you're not good at it. Because like I said, every time, you pl every time you practice, you'll get better. Every time you write a song, make a beat, record a vocal, drop the bass, etc., you'll be better than the last time you did it. Even the first few times you do something, those will be huge learning experiences for you. Like, I learned a ton from the first few songs I ever mixed. I went from knowing absolutely nothing about mixing to, like, I know what a compressor is, I know how limiters work, I know about EQ, reverb, level balancing. I wasn't particularly good with those, but I knew what they were and I had a general idea of how they worked. Like I said, that was just from the first couple times. It makes a huge difference. So just get started, just do it. But honestly, you probably want something a bit more practical than just do it. So I'll give you some more practical advice. For starters, start small. Start by learning the basics. Like the expression goes, you have to learn to crawl before you learn to walk. And this means like the simple stuff, like the basics of mic placement, uh, learning how to record, just singing a simple song, for example, or making a basic beat or a simple little loop. Just learning those, those little things will help you get started and help you, it'll help you build a foundation of knowledge. Another thing, don't make your first project or goal too big or else you'll get discouraged. You'll like say, the first song I ever mixed was 19 minutes long. That is massive. I was like, I wanna be dream theater. I'm gonna make this big old thing. And then it ended up taking six months to create. It was absurd, and it just, I got discouraged. It took a lot of dedication. It took a lot of hard work because, like, there was nothing coming out of it. I was just like, I'm going to keep working on this song, keep working on it, and it's just like, you just don't get anywhere. But with smaller projects, they're easier to manage. They're easier to do, yeah, so it's like, you think, oh, it's cheating, but no, like, it's better to start small because... The feeling of completing them will push you forward and make you feel like you and make you want to do more. The more projects you do, the better you get, and every project, every success under your belt is another little boost, another little push for your morale. And that's that's a win in my book. And basically, because you get better through repetition and because of the little boost, a bunch of small projects at first is way better for you than one really big project. And plus with the bigger projects, the goal may be like beyond your current skill level and you'll get discouraged and then you'll just not make anything. And that's the worst thing, like I said. Okay, next, know your limits. Know what you can and can't do right now. Just sort of be aware of what you're capable of. Then, once you know that, try to push those limits a little bit. Challenge yourself. 
Go beyond your comfort zone. If you know you need to work on a particular skill, then do something to practice that skill. Focused, intentional challenges are the way you develop skills. They're the, that's how you develop expertise at something. We learned about that in my cognitive psych course in grad school. Next thing, work at your skill as often as you can, preferably daily. Even just a little bit of practice each day can help. When I was doing a National Novel Writing Month, if you stick to it, if you make sure to write every day, even if it was just a hundred words, it helps you get better and it helps you build discipline and get in the habit of practicing and get in the habit of building your skill. That way it'll be easier to keep going when your motivation goes away. If you have discipline, you don't need as much motivation. Some other things that I try, like for a month or so, I took 20 minutes each day to make a short little eight bar loop. It was like just small practice that you can do every day. And currently I spend an hour each day practicing guitar. Just little stuff like that. It adds up over time and it ends up making a big difference. Another thing, do your research. Learn about the thing you're working on. Like if you wanna get good at voice acting, look up tips and best practices for voice acting. Seek out people who've been doing this kind of thing for many years. Like look up interviews or seminars from like professional voice actors. Uh, if you can, find a mentor or a teacher who can guide you. Uh, that kind of focused instruction will be much more effective than just learning by yourself. And last, don't give up. This kind of stuff will take time, it'll take hard work, it'll be time consuming, and it may not seem like you're making progress, but like I said, every time you do it, you'll be just that little bit better than the last time you did it. And then when you look back at your progress after a couple months, you'll go, wow, I did a lot. So. Be sure to keep trying. Don't give up. Your skill is like a house. The house won't exist or won't look very good if you don't work on building it. It's not going to build itself. So yeah, basically just don't give up. I'll leave you with this thought. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Or, as Jake from Adventure Time puts it, Sucking at something is the first step toward being sorta of good at something. Anyway, I hope that helped. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about practicing or pushing yourself in the face of adversity or stuff like that, please let me know in the comments. I'm always open for questions. And if you have any sort of positive stories about how you found inspiration or found the drive to keep going, I'd love to hear about that too. And as usual, if you'd like to request a Vox FX2 Tutorial, please send me a message. Remember, if it's talky, I can talk about it. As I mentioned in my last tutorial, my next one's going to be about Convolution Reverb. That should be coming out in about a week or so if everything goes according to plan. Until then, have fun and keep making sound. <laughs>